Throughout television history, we've seen drastic shifts in what is marketed to us via commercial and how it is marketed, or, you know, the classic quality to quantity ratio. Many of the earlier commercials during the Second World War and Cold War periods were simplistic and advertised with this jubilance in mind. For instance, take this commercial from the early 40s in its entirety. Sit right down here. And don't you touch anything. All right, Mama. Hello, Mary. Why, what's the matter? Nothing. I'm just sitting here waiting for my mother. How about a bottle of Coca-Cola? Oh, thank you, Mr. Tompkins. Ah, the good old days. Now compare that commercial to Mr. Mantit Heroin Addict here from just a few years ago. Shh! I got a secret. If you're wondering how I stay so active and energetic these days, get more sleep without count sheep and have another night of bliss. And I know you are. It's my safe step walk-in tub. Oh yeah, I know what you're thinking. Uh, I would be willing to bet my life that you don't. Terry, I'm not ready for a walk-in tub yet. And now I owe you my life. Well, did you know that Safe Step now offers a hybrid tub? I did not know that. Oh my goodness! Hey, Papa Bear, I know this is not advert at all, but I mean some decency, please? You can choose to take a relaxing, therapeutic bath or a stand-up shower. <laughs> Terry Bradshaw's secret <laughs> is revealed. As part of Terry's special TV offer, call now and get a free shower package. You know, I think Terry is making this offer very special as we speak. Either he's cracking one off or jerking one out, and I frankly don't want to know. It's back! with a lifetime warranty. Yoo I'm sold. Treat yourself. Trust me. Your body will thank you. Is yours thanking you right now, Terry? Hmm? You get older when you can really benefit from a bath. I'll take you now. But these commercials, as glorified as they are, are not the sole point of contention for this video. No. There are commercials lurking about out there for people to get drunk and stoned to watch. And that is where Appliance Direct came in. Anniversary sale pricing. Appliance Direct. Good God. To be frank, the only reason I even know of these jewels of commercials is because Appliance Direct commercials only aired in the Central Florida area. And when I moved here from Wales mid-2004, these were the first commercials that we saw. And by God, it is nice to see Mr. Refrigerator Addict again. These commercials are so austerely corny. I had a hard time figuring out where to even begin. But I digress. Let's get our appliance love on. Alex, I take counter dip refrigerator for thousand dollars less. Correct. I love refrigerators. Hey, give the guy some credit. That's a better time than last week. I love refrigerators. Wait, what? No, no, no. You cannot do that to us. Guy literally just strolls through a park all jubilantly and walks up to a fridge, lets the world know of his, uh, obsession, and that's it. No, really, there is no twist to this. <laughs> Moving on. Appliance Direct. Do you know how manufacturers tell the good quality refrigerator from the poor quality refrigerator? No, actually, I do not. Tell me. Rubber and insulation. All right. Whoa, buddy, did you just forget that you're filming a commercial for all to see here? I'm certain the refrigerator will be waiting for you home for this, but come on. Maybe he's trying to market how well the refrigerator is doing bed. If so, that makes perfect sense. Hey, Sam, Jesus, man, you literally just cheated on that other appliance there. Like, what the hell, man? Okay, now he's just a pimp. Whoa, he must be a good lover. Just listen to that refrigerator, how it just squeaked in pleasure. Ooh! That's not, that's not rubber. Maybe not, but this is. It makes your refrigerator last longer. Yeah, I think they all ejaculated too quickly, yeah? Especially that one in the middle there. Whoa, Sam, that's a little too personal, don't you think? You literally just gave each one a prom dance, and now we're already at third base? God, give him a break. 
What is it, Sam? Ah, of course. <laughs> Should have known. Screw. That's not solid. Actually, it is. It is not a liquid, not a gas, not plasma, so it must be a solid. Your retirement money is a going out the door. All right, maybe I've been a tad tough on Sam. Let's give him another chance to improve on his professionalism. What's the difference between a good quality freezer and a poor quality freezer? Tomatoes! Uh, I'm sorry, what? Tomatoes? Uh, I'm pretty certain that that doesn't really dictate a great freezer, and surely it's not the only thing that does, but, uh, okay. Bigger the dryer, faster it dries. Drum light. I love appliances! Appliance Direct. Do your apples and oranges get mixed together? Uh... No. Uh, also, I would just like to note that it appears as though he briefly forgot what oranges are with that excruciatingly long pause. Do your apples and... Oranges get mixed together? I love appliances! Appliance Direct. How to tell a good quality freezer from a piece of... <laughs> from a piece of junk? Whirlpool. Number one, seamless bottom. That means defrosting and cleanup is easy. No leaks. Okay, yeah, I see this being a plus. Number two, sit on it. What? Since when does sitting on a refrigerator make a key point in an advertising commercial? What, do you want nine-year-olds to fall off of it? If so, I'm all for it. It has steam cooking for lots of rice and vegetables and steam clean cycle in case somebody gets messy. Yes, messy. Just like you're advertising here. Literally said, I love appliances five times in this one commercial. I love appliances. How do I? It's a dryer. It's always a dryer. What's my close fast? I love appliances. Appliance direct. Your apples and oranges together. It's your refrigerator. A good quality refrigerator. I love appliances. It's easy. No leaks. Number two. Sit on it. Good quality freezer. And also go on all five sides for freezing. Unless you're back out for price. I love appliances. I love appliances. Restaurants use induction. More control saves time. That is 12 underwatt toy. Uh, Sam, I wouldn't really call that a toy. Could you imagine kids playing about with induction wear? Of course not. It's 2019. No one plays with real life things, only their devices. You know, before we view a few more commercials I have for you all, let's just take the time to represent how many times Mr. Pack here discloses his affection for kitchen appliances, huh? I love appliances. I love good washers. I love great dishwashers. I love refrigerators. I really love them. Wow! Wow! You just that cook right. Matter of fact, add some horror music there and we now have a full-fledged marriage abuse here. Take a look. I love great dishwashers. I really love them. Do you know there are dishwashers that are quiet. I mean, almost silent. It's the dryer. It's always the dryer. Uh, moving on. If it stinks, it's a piece of Don't Whoa, bite. whoa, 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 we've been over this, come on. And if a kid's in his bath, appliance direct. I love kids. Now we're talking. Your washer doesn't have wheel dispensers. You put in your detergent, you put in your bleach. Ladies and gents, I believe we are looking at the new Bill Nye. If your washer is wasting your soap and bleach money, that's your retirement going down the drain. Really? Is it? Because last you said it was out the door. Make up your damn mind, Sam. Let's be very fair. Every one of these dishwashers puts out a clean dish if you wash them first. That's an old appliance joke, folks. Get it? They do a great job if you pretty wash. <laughs> I love appliances! Here we have three of best-selling dishwashers in Florida. One, two, three. Uh, four? You know, I think Sam has to take a few presentation classes if he keeps looking at the, uh... 
the script here. I mean, seriously, he's so ambivalent in the script, he can't even count to four. Maybe that last one watched this kid a little too hard. That explains why his daughter's no longer on the commercials. These white out-of-box pieces are perfect. Whoa, buddy, you all right there? You're not looking so good. One of your customers beat you up in the car park because you gave him a good appliance? Out-of-box, 1482. Stainless steel. If you could ever conceive of having a stainless steel fridge. Who on the bloody earth speaks like this? What? It's like he forgot what he was advertising because of his drastic love for appliances. Jesus. Thank you. Ugh. Half load? Push the button. Glasses only? Push the button. What do you want because a pirate is free? You are a pirate. You are a pirate indeed. Being a pirate is a wretched thing. Do what you want because a pirate is free. You are a pirate. What? Okay, but on a serious note, I'm sure he probably has pink eye or something. Poor guy. Alright, if you watch this far, then I'm sure you have now educated yourself as to how bizarre and austere Florida commercials were. I've got one more to show you all. Let's hope this will be a good one. Welcome to Appliance Direct. I love appliances. I don't know. You're doing it all wrong. It's like this. Welcome to Appliance Direct. I love appliances. Welcome to the Pine Scrack. I love homecoming. Homecoming? At an appliance store. Did your children stay in your lair for school? How does this work? Who would do this? Why is this happening? Who would even care? Yeah, at the Hard Rock Live. What is it with all of these awkward transitions? This year's theme for homecoming is a comic crazy. I love superheroes. Wait, what? I love a pine. Ah, that's better. We have a pajama day, splash your class day, Character Day, Dynamic Duo Day, and Spirit Friday. Yeah, uh, will this be on the test? If you don't, it's a wacky new new. That's a what? Remember, I love homecoming. If you don't go to homecoming, you are no fun. Wait, what? Okay, I draw the line there. This has been a recapitulation of Appliance Direct commercials. Hopefully, one of you wish to go out and meet a drunk Korean guy who loves appliances as much as he loves to smell plastic.